hi you guys welcome back to my channel i hope that you're all doing great so if it's your first time here welcome my name is lynn i'm a psychic medium and this is passionate heart tarot thank you so much for clicking on the video so you're probably single because these are going to be your love readings for october for all of my beautiful singles we're going to take a look and see who's coming your way what's coming your way in love how is your love life gonna look in october okay i'll tell you whatever comes through from spirit i never know what's gonna come through just a heads up but i'll always be honest with you guys about what messages i do receive let's take a look and see what's coming in for your love life okay you guys i send you all much love and light if you are returning or one of my long-term subscribers thank you so much i love you guys let's see what is coming in for you all all right, before I begin your readings, just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. Okay, you guys i think we're going to start with libra's energy since it is libra season let's take a look at what's coming in for you in october libra for your love life i see sagittarius's energy are you guys thinking of a sagittarius dealing with a sagittarius maybe could be moon or rising also taurus's energy but very strong Sagittarius and then your Libra energy is also coming through. So um, maybe moon or rising signs, cross watchers for Sagittarius. You could be dealing with another Libra. That's what I can see. I feel like there's a potential coming your way but then again, at the same time, I always question a person who brings energy like that. It's it's a lot of passion. It is. And I, I know that it is. And I know that it can be easy for you guys to like fall fast and hard for a person like that. Because they, I feel like they're very impressive, especially when I see this kind of energy coming through around them. I feel like you have someone coming towards you that is going to impress you. I feel like um, they're very good looking. It's someone who is very materialistic though. And it is someone who when they first come in, I feel is not really having expectations about anything long term or even envisioning anything long term but i feel like there's potential for it to turn into that for it to turn into that when this person comes in for you libra if you want someone that you can start a relationship with a grow together settle into something i think it's super super important that you voice your opinion to this person see this is someone that right from the very start you're gonna have to teach them how to treat you your expectations your boundaries what you will and will not accept because i feel like this person pushes and they'll get away with what you let them get away with. Now, that doesn't mean that they're a bad person. I just feel like it's someone who will rise to the occasion and they don't mind rising to the occasion. But this person does very well if you have boundaries and you tell them about it. I say all of that because the Knight of Wands brings so many energies. It's someone that is very charismatic very charming very difficult to resist because there's just such a level of chemistry and attraction between you and this person um when you guys do decide to take things to a physical and sexual level it's going to be something that you'll be very very satisfied that's what i will say um you know not to be too nosy in your business but that's what that energy is is a lot of chemistry it's someone who it, i feel is just very energetic overall could be someone that likes to exercise is like really in shape because they just have this inner drive 
and it, it goes into all different areas of their life. They, they are such a hard worker. It's someone who, like I said, enjoys materialistic things like the finer things. It's someone who knows how to work, make money, save money, all of that. So I feel like where this goes is going to be up to you based on the kind of boundaries that you put up. It's kind of like, I, I hate to say it like this, but almost like um, taming this person. And I don't say that to belittle. It's a, you can, they just need direction. I hope that that makes sense because this is a person who, when they enter into your life, I feel like their intentions are to just kind of go with the flow and be in the moment. They never really thought about things long term. I feel like never. I feel like it's someone who doesn't have that many experiences as far as real relationships or like long-term relationships. Maybe they've only had one or two in their life. What you'll have to do with this person, like I said, is set those boundaries because it's you're a catalyst for them. When you set boundaries with this person, it triggers something within them to rise to the occasion, to let go and be more generous. See, this is, there's so much pentacles, 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 pentacles. Do you see all these pentacles? Um, it could even be an earth sign coming towards you. You know, I did see Taurus's energy here, but with all of those pentacles coming through, it's spirit showing me like how, I feel like how set this person is in their ways and how grounded they can be I hope that I'm making sense to you guys about the dynamic because I don't want you to think that this is someone that's coming in to like ghost you. But what I will say is you're going to teach this person how to treat you. So if they are like are lacking in the communication, not not talking to you as often as you'd like, opening up to you the way that you'd like them to, you are going to have to speak up because because they'll follow your lead they'll follow your lead because you're it's much deeper because you're a catalyst that unlocks this side of them this is someone who works 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 and i feel like their whole life is just work i feel like they're definitely um an intellectual person definitely a uh, very logical could their their job could even be something that's very like scientific or or logic based engineering something like that because they just follow like set set procedures that that's what it looks like to me they're very logical but you bring out this side of them that opens them up to like what could be in their life and i say that because the four of pentacles is coming in reverse six of pentacles coming in reverse so that lets me know that this person will give back to you what you're asking from them and they will that's what you need to know it's someone that i feel i just feel like in many ways they are inexperienced and if you misinterpret their inexperience for something else that's where it can cause blockages between you and you and them I don't think being inexperienced is a bad thing at all because like I said, you're that person that gets them to see where they are now and where they'd like to be. You're the person that'll get them to settle down, like to settle in, and don't think that means like anything negative when I talk about settling down. You know, it's about like um, staying still for once creating something with someone and really investing with someone i feel like this person comes from a really great family so they have like those um they have that in their mind what a, what a healthy relationship and what a, a family should look like because i feel like that's what they came from you know seeing the ten of pentacles um lets me know that they probably have you know uh, nieces nephews probably comfortable around kids i feel like it's someone that uh loves their family loves their parents things like that so i feel like you really are getting a good person you know don't don't accept this that's what i think you really need to keep in mind for whoever is coming your way libra 
throughout October that what you want and what you expect, you're going to have to make that clear and not settle for anything less because you'll bring out the best in this person. I just think that as simple as this may sound, I really think that this person hasn't had anyone like show them or get that side of them to wake up to think like, yeah, what do what do I really want long term? Because I know that it's a very it's a family oriented person it's someone who comes from a good family they have morals they have values there's a lot of lust that they bring there's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of like sexual passion and all of that but i mean that's just that's fun i there's nothing wrong with that i think it's just important to voice what it is that you want with this with this person i really do because um they have like all these little experiences in their love life but then like once those little experiences are are done they get right back to like the normal routine that they've settled into which is really like work uh whatever they i feel like this person is like very routine so i wonder if they even come from like some kind of service background army background something like that i just feel like you guys are getting someone that you're going to be super super attracted to right away and i mean of course the chemistry is there the physical attraction the sexual attraction all of that is there i just know that there's potential that's here but what unlocks the potential is someone speaking up and it makes me wonder is this like a life lesson for some of you have you been in other connections where you let certain things slide where you didn't speak up for yourself, where you where you just kind of accepted whatever this other person wanted to dish out to you. I feel like that's why things are kind of coming full circle for some of you. And the more that you express to them boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. That that's what the month that's like what the theme is all about because those boundaries unlock something that's full of potential. It really is. Because I don't feel like you're dealing with a bad person, even though, you know, I, I kind of feel worried when I see the night because the night is like here and then gone. See, it's someone who they will get off that horse and settle. They will. But it's just a matter of I feel you need to be that person that stands up for yourself if, if you feel like you don't like the dynamic. If you feel like they go too long without communicating with you, too many days pass and you guys don't see each other. That's not something that you should uh, settle for because you are like the catalyst. In a lot of ways, I can see Libra where you're like the leader in the connection. You may and and I'm telling you all this so so blockages don't form because if you don't realize this, and you're waiting for this person to like take the initiative and and do the things. Do those things without letting them know. It can create a lot of misunderstandings and blockages. I hope that that makes sense. There's a lot of helpful advice that's coming through from spirit for you guys. I mean, I just feel like there's there's so much here because of what this person has to offer and you unlock so much of it. I mean, you're getting someone that is really, truly a genuine good person. They come from a good family, a good background. If there was like a whole bunch of dark energy and all that, I would, I would tell you, but the dynamic is based on how much you stand up for yourself and teach them how to treat you. Because once you teach them how to treat you, they're going to treat you the way that you expect to be treated. And like I said, when I look even deeper into the layers, I wonder who, like, how, what kind of lesson you're trying to learn from that. And then it makes me wonder about your history. If you're someone that's just like accepted things, kind of settled for things, that's not what you should do here. That's not what you should do because um, it unlocks something. Because it's very interesting to see this kind of dynamic come through. Because it lets me know the potential. It lets me know the potential there. See, this person is not a bad person. That's what I'm telling you. They have, um, there's potential for something long term. There's potential to grow with this person. I just feel like you are like that, that catalyst and I'm snapping because it's like you get them to wake up somehow and see things that no one else has like made them see before. Okay. So I would say to definitely enjoy your time with this person. 
It's gonna be like fireworks. I think it's gonna be something that will really throw you for a loop as far as what it does to you emotionally. There's a lot of excitement in the energy. And like I said, there's a lot of like passion, lust, attraction. But then there is someone who's capable of putting down roots. I see that in this person. Okay, so that is what's going on. I mean, long-term potential if you stand up for yourself. And, and when I say stand up for yourself, I feel like it comes across as so serious. It's not like this person is going to be doing things to like um, intentionally like disrespect you, be disrespectful towards you. I just feel like that's that's what the dynamic is, you know, take from that what you will. But that's what I can see coming in. A lot of fun, like sexiness is here. And then just potential to, to really build something with this person. So I feel like it's going to be an awesome month in your love life. Okay, for October. I love you, Libra. That's what I see coming through. I send you much love and light. All right, let's get into Scorpio. Scorpio, what is going on? My single Scorpios. Let's see. Into your love life in October. Who is coming your way? What's the energy like? What is this? Who? What? What are they like? Who are they? Let's see what spirit shows us. I see Cancer and Capricorn energies coming through. Are you guys dealing with either of those? Could be um, cross watchers. Maybe you have one of those coming your way, or it could be like moon or rising. You might have moon or rising, uh, Capricorn or Cancer, because that energy is here. Tower card. Oh, <laughs> tower. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of fertility that's here. Seeing this combination, I mean, this is sexual, sexual, sexual. The devil, the ace of wands, and the tower card, and then the moon is like fertility. There's potential to conceive here. I don't know if that's what you guys want, but there's there's a lot of like sexual energy and then like something that comes to fruition, conceiving. There's a lot of sex coming in for you guys. I mean, that's that's just what the energy is. There's a lot of like chemistry, sex, um, could even be some of the best sexual experiences that you've had in your love life. I mean, this combination is very powerful. It's very phallic. It's very symbolic. So it just lets you know that October, I feel like... There's so much emphasis in your reading on, on sex. That's just what spirit is showing me. Definitely a very active um, sex life for you guys. I think that you're going to have a lot of eyes on you. I think that you just put out this aura, Scorpio, throughout October. That's just very attractive. You're going to be fully in your like sexual energy. Um, and I hope you let yourself feel as good as I can see others think you look and like feel about you i hope that you'll let yourself be confident in it and embrace your sexual side because um there's just it's something here that's very very powerful it's all around you when i see the page of swords coming through um it lets me know that like there's just eyes watching you on you attracted to you looking you up and down i i feel like attracting someone to you is going to be as easy as you just stepping out into the world so don't be surprised when you have people that are constantly like hitting on you somehow flirting with you trying to get you to pay attention to them complimenting you definitely and i mean just like watching 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 that's what that page of swords does so for for those of you that you know are posting pictures you're on social media it could even be um the way that someone makes their approach towards you there's so much emphasis here on the physical and the sexual and I don't see the energy of, of a commitment forming. I don't know how that makes you feel, Scorpio. You know, 
to each his own but seeing the three of pentacles come in reverse is a very strong uh message to you from spirit about uh, the way that you guys may not exactly find like a partner maybe 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 you guys are just in a place where you're meeting different people and you're not embracing um a connection because the, the three of pentacles in reverse is a very straightforward uh, message that i don't see you deciding to get into a relationship the devil in reverse and then the chariot there's a there's definitely so much po potential for like flings i and like i said i don't know how you guys feel and i'm not here to judge we're all adults to each his own and and neither of you should judge anyone for what the other one wants but the devil in reverse and then the chariot is like it's like a fling having an experience then moving on having an experience and then moving on so since there is so much of like the emphasis being on the physical and the sexual throughout October, Scorpio, um, and if you're someone that's like, I don't want that, I want a relationship, I want someone that's going to come in and um, like settle with me, settle down with me, we form a connection, be very careful about how much of yourself you choose to invest in someone, especially like physically and sexually with all this energy of um one connection another connection like and it's like done do you know what i mean so if you are someone that's looking for love i would give you a piece of advice to be very thoughtful on how much you choose to embrace the physical and sexual side of things that's what I can see. But if, if others of you are like um, in another place where you're just kind of open to different experiences, open to feeling like attracted, open to meeting different people, open to being desired. I mean, you have what could be a very exciting and passionate month ahead of you. But there is like a, a heads up here for those of you that are in a different mindset, maybe in a more sensitive place, looking to find someone, um, like I said, that you can get into a relationship with. Be very careful with your heart. Just just know that because that's what it th that's what the theme is like. So like I said, you're not going to have any problem attracting someone to you. But then it will be up to you to really use your best judgment, especially if you are looking for a commitment from someone looking for a relationship. Really be careful and use your best judgment because I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. And, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys about the energy. I'm not going to say like, oh, you're going to you're going to get engaged. You're going to get married. No, that's not what the energy is like. The energy is very physical. It's very sexual. It looks like there's potential for like short term experiences, flings, if you will. That could be the case for some of you. And definitely being very, very desired, very wanted. But then it's like even though you're super desired wanted i don't see where it brings a relationship to you so that's the beautiful thing about watching tarot because it can give you a heads up into the energy do you know what i mean it can give you a heads up for maybe how you'll look at certain things throughout the month maybe even some of you might choose to hold yourself back a little bit more Maybe even it opens up your eyes to see how someone is, is being with you and not mistaking it for something else. You know, that's that's what I can see coming through, Scorpio. So just keep that in mind. Depending on what you want in your love life, depending on the kind of experiences that you are want to have or are willing to have. But for those of you that are just open to embracing that very very sexual side of yourself i mean it's going to be a month that i just see where your your whole love life is based on like the physical and the sexual there's just no getting around it there there's just no getting around it um and for those of you that do not want to conceive i mean there's a lot of potential here for that so maybe just make sure that you're um taking precautions that's that's what i can see and for those of you like i said that are you know in a place where 
you don't want that and you do want a relationship to come in i wonder what kind of lessons you're you're going through this this month maybe to help you see things from a different perspective you know that that's just what i can see scorpio so of course take from that what you will that is what spirit is showing me it's going to be all eyes on you people are going to be attracted to you like a magnet definitely um just wanting you wanting you wanting you but it is very physical it's very sexual so just know that and know that i send you all much love and light all right scorpio that's what i see coming through for you guys for october let's get into sagittarius sagittarius let's take a look at the energy coming your way and your love life Your energy is here, Sagittarius. Are you dealing with another Sagittarius maybe somehow? Is it moon or rising? Um, maybe there's a, yeah, moon or rising or like, like a Sagittarius watching for another Sagittarius, you know, dealing with one. That's what I can see. Nine of Pentacles is the overall energy. And then when you see this combination of cards, it's very strong message from spirit about you guys. I feel like you want to be in a very independent place. You may really be a heartbreaker this month, Sagittarius. That's what I can see because it's like um, you're not going to do anything that you don't want. Frankly, you're not going to talk to anyone that you don't want to talk to and you're not gonna be guilted into embracing something that you really don't enjoy or like you really don't want you guys put out this vibe because this is one of my favorite cards the nine of pentacles because that is someone that is like a 10 out of 10 nine of pentacles is someone who just has everything to offer someone it's their looks it's their talent it's the way that they dress it's their whole like personality their vibe their style their aura their they have class um they're did i say intelligent because it, it's really just being that full package and to see that as the overall energy which is a very independent energy that's how i know people are looking at you and that's how i know you feel inside you don't lack confidence whatsoever you're super super confident and like you're super confident and you're super patient see you're coming across with this energy of like i'm not in a rush to just jump into any old connection i know who i am i know my worth i know what i have to offer and i'm not gonna settle that's what your vibe is like not gonna settle and even seeing temperance come through which is your energy temperance is a very grounded and balanced energy like no you're just solid. You know who you are. And like I said, you're not going to be guilted into anything. You're not going to be rushed or forced into anything when it comes to your love life because you have that security and that confidence. Maybe it's taken you a while to get to that place, but that's where I see you're going to be in October. That's what spirit is showing me. It truly is a grounded energy because like your head is in the right place. Your heart is in the right place. Your intellect and emotion is balanced and cemented together. And from that point, you're unstoppable. I feel like you could even be a bit intimidating to people. That's what I can see. And when I say that I see you being a heartbreaker, I mean, there is no getting around what that is. So since you are a heartbreaker, it lets me know that you have people that, of course, want to be with you, want to talk to you. Meeting someone is not going to be a problem. Your love life looks like there's a lot of action that's coming in for you, uh, people who like potential partners. But I don't think you're going to choose someone just for the sake of being connected connected to someone you're not lonely you're not needy you're not insecure and because you come in with all of that strength um i i think that 
you're not going to pretend and that's probably why there's the three of swords there with the eight of wands in reverse because that lets me know that someone is like i i want to get through to you um i think that there could even be some unwanted attention frankly that comes to you in october because this is like your phone blowing up that's what the that's what the eight of wands represents it's about communication it's heavy it's heavy though because it's like message 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 and when it comes in reverse why aren't you letting that in that that's what it makes me realize see you're not letting that in someone you, you may feel like someone's coming on too strong so that's why you're in this energy of um just not willing to settle you're very balanced very very confident and when i talk about balance it's it's your intellect and emotion certainly very connected to your higher self and i feel like you'll have so much potential to intimidate someone someone is going to be incredibly hard on themselves when it comes to you in october that's what i can see um because the two of pentacles is just the opposite of that where you're very balanced like i said and then when you see this kind of energy come through that's the opposite that's someone who's flustered that's someone who's worried that's someone whose head tells them one thing one second and then their heart's telling them another thing and it's just a lot of energy of confusion so I, I do I do feel like you being so rock solid like that can be confusing to someone if they don't accept like what your terms are so to speak or if they don't accept that you're not going to be rushed into anything but um what I will say is since there's so much potential for someone's heart getting broken I would I would hope that you guys would, you know, treat someone the way that you'd want to be treated. Do you know what I mean, Sagittarius? I'm not saying that to judge, but you know, when I see energy coming through like that about someone that is very hurt and feels confused, um, I would I would say for good vibes, treat someone the way that you'd want to be treated and just be honest with them. You know, if you don't like the way that they're coming on so strong. And you just feel like um it's unwanted or that you know if it's that's what the dynamic in this card is like it's important i mean i would hope that you're just honest with them but honestly i feel like if someone comes on too strong with you you just might cut them out seriously like block them delete their number that that's what the vibe is like from you guys because it is this energy of like i know who i am i know what i have to offer i'm confident and i don't need anyone that's what your vibe is like like i'm good on my own i'm stable on my own i'm enjoying i feel like you guys are really enjoying being single that's just what i see and you're not going to make a decision unless you feel like it truly is right for you so i mean it's a some advice is coming through maybe for a cross watcher i would i would really like pull back a little bit if if there if you're coming on really really strong you'll know right away if sagittarius is interested they're if they're interested they're not going to take forever to return your calls they're not going to take forever to return your messages. They're not going to go days and days and days without like communicating with you or seeing you, FaceTiming with you, video chatting, whatever the case is. And I don't say that to be mean, but it's kind of like a little piece of advice from Spirit about the way that coming on so strong with the Sagittarius just will push them away. That's what's going on. So I think that... You guys are going to be in a place where you feel really good, like as far as your confidence, looking in the mirror and, and feeling like, you know what, I look good, I feel good. A bright aura, very healthy energy and vitality is around you. You're, you're shining from the inside out. And that's what brings the security and the confidence to you. All right, Sagittarius. So certainly um, attracting someone, not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. I think it's important that you are honest, though, with those um, that are, like, into you, wanting to, like, 
get with you get together with you whatever the case is all right um but but i mean it's gonna be an active love life but there's only you're very choosy you're very choosy and you're just in this mindset of i'm not gonna settle for anything um that i'm either if, if you're not ready you're not ready if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it that's what the vibe for you is like and i just see you feeling really good about yourself throughout the month of october okay sagittarius that's what i have for you guys i send you much love and light let's get into capricorn my single capricorns let's take a look and see what is coming in for you all what are your messages who's coming your way what are they like what is your love life gonna be like in october You have a similar vibe to Sagittarius. I wonder if any of you are like being pursued by a Sagittarius or whatever. Maybe it's your moon or rising signs or there could be cross watchers here. Very, very similar vibe to Sagittarius's reading. So the overall energy coming through for you guys is is sheer confidence and that confidence comes from within you're in this aura and this mentality and like this overall vibe throughout october like look i know who i am i know what i have to offer and i don't see you guys having a problem with being single and independent because that's you're not gonna settle for anything that you're not into or if it's not like vibing with you or if there's things that you feel are missing i don't see you choosing to settle i think it's very important for you guys to know how you come across to others because you know the nine of pentacles it's one of my favorite energies because it tells me a lot about the vibe and the person i think it's important for you guys to know that you come across as someone that is like a catch i mean it's being intelligent classy successful someone that's healthy like has a lot of vitality and energy someone that's doing very well for themselves like the position that you're in right now in your life it's impressive to those around you and of course that's different for everyone you know we're all we all do different jobs we're all in different places but in the eyes of the beholder you are someone that looks like they're very successful and of course it's being attractive but it's like the whole package of like the the physical beauty the inner beauty the swagger the charisma all of it so just know that i mean attracting someone to you that's easy all you have to do is step out into the world and you'll have people that are interested in you but the vibe of the nine of pentacles especially with the two of wands coming in reverse eight of wands coming in reverse it's like um I don't know which path I want to choose, but I'm not going to be rushed into it. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to let anyone put pressure on me to make a choice. That's what I see going on with you guys. And the fact that you're coming across that way, especially with these other energies, just know that there's potential for a very active love life. Um, you're going to be pursued. You will be pursued. So that's just know that if, if you haven't met anyone yet, you, you'll definitely meet people throughout the month of October that are interested because I mean, they can't help it. Someone that's single and looking for love when they see a catch like that, they're going to go after it. I think it's important that you're honest with anyone who comes your way as far as like what you're looking for because i'm sure you guys wouldn't want to be um like hurting someone i'm sure you wouldn't want to do that and when i see the king of cups come in reverse it lets me know that there's a very sensitive person that's coming your way a very sensitive person that I, um see there's a lot of messages coming through because um i feel like that person's a catch that's coming to you 
they see you as a catch and I, when I look at their energy, I feel like they're a catch as well. Who wouldn't want, I mean, to each his own, but when I look at this person's energy, I mean, who wouldn't want someone that's like this? The King of Cups is a person that's very in touch with both their feminine and masculine sides. And so that just lets you know that it's someone who's very open-minded, empathetic, can, can see things from another person's perspective, and is very well-rounded. A, a, a tender-hearted person, a sensitive person. And when the King of Cups comes in reverse, it just is spirit letting me know how easily this person is hurt. And I don't say that to put pressure on you guys or to make you walk on eggshells around someone, but it's the truth about the energy. They're, they're hurt very easily. They may not... You may not know that though. You may not know that. They're sensitive, but they're not going to be someone who just like bleeds out in front of you. Do you know what I mean? I hope that that makes sense. I feel like you have a very dedicated and hardworking person that's coming towards you. And it's someone who I feel has a lot of accomplishments under their belt, a lot that they're proud of. And if you're wondering this person's intentions, it's not someone who like is a serial dater and it's not someone who like is um, possessive. They're not possessive. That's important for you to know. They do want something that they can be proud of. And that's how they feel when they look at you. That's what they feel the potential is within you. Like, wow, this is this is someone that I feel I could come together with and be really proud of because it's almost like, you know, putting it up on the wall. What I mean by that is the energy of um bragging about you, telling all their friends, telling all their family, like, oh my God, you won't believe who I met. That's what this energy is like. There is potential for the two of you to really complement each other's lives. That's what I can see. There, there's a lot of potential with the world card coming in. It represents moving to the next phase. It represents like ascension, coming together and bringing out the best in each other. So I will say this, Capricorn. Don't be afraid to, to give someone a chance. I know you're very self-assured. I know no one is going to make you do anything that you don't want to do. But I just see a person with a lot of potential that's coming your way. All right. And I feel like if you choose to let yourself open up to it, this has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential. Although, you know, when I'm telling you guys about how your energy is similar to the Sagittarius reading, there's more messages from spirit coming through for you to tell, telling you to embrace something. This connection, this person that's coming your way, this very like tender hearted, sensitive, uh, caring, caring person. Who's, who's very hardworking. That's what I can see. Oh, like what they put their mind to, they don't only put their mind to it, they put their heart and soul into it. And I feel like that's what they could give to you. That's what they give to things around them. Definitely their career, definitely those that they care about. But it's funny because the message is coming through to you is like a nudge, nudge, nudge to embrace this Capricorn to embrace it. I think you should. Okay, although I know where you may, because your energy is, is not ve being very open to it for whatever reason, you know, for the reasons that came through already. Um, but there's something here that you should embrace. So you have a lot to look forward to in your love life. You're a catch. You don't chase. You're the one you're the one who will be chased, but will you let yourself be caught? That's the thing that I think is very cute about it. And if you're wondering about this person's intentions and what they're like, 
Um, for whatever reason, some of you need to know that this person could have curly hair, uh, blonde hair, could even have curly blonde hair. I know that that's kind of random. Um, and that doesn't mean that they're a certain ethnicity, just keep that in mind. But that's what Spirit is showing me about, um, like if you want to know something physical about this person. I know that's random, but that's a message to you. And I feel like it's something that you should let yourself embrace because this is a good person that I feel is coming your way. And what I'm saying, like them being so sensitive, that's why there's those messages coming through to you from Spirit about, you know, being honest, being honest with them. Okay, Capricorn, that is what I can see coming through for you guys. I send you much love and light. All right, let's get into Aquarius. Aquarius, who is coming your way? Let's see for my singles. What are they like? What's the energy like? How is your love life going to look? Let's see what Spirit shows us. Leo's energy here are you guys do you have a Leo on your mind are you dealing with a Leo somehow there could be a Leo coming your way cross watchers or it could be moon or rising signs okay Aquarius the initial M is here and Taurus's energy as well so you know that initial might be significant to you maybe there's a Taurus coming to you moon or rising or cross watchers hesitancy that will be relieved i feel like you guys are to a certain extent protecting yourselves that's what this energy shows me the queen of cups it's not like you're jaded it's not like you're bitter it's not like you're not open to love per se but you're just taking things a little bit more cautiously. The Queen of Cups is this energy of like, okay, I'm gonna watch this person. I'm gonna observe. I'm gonna get to know them. And, and then you guys are really, really reading into things. I see you doing that, definitely. Um, don't worry, that energy will clear. That energy will clear. There's a whole story that's here. So definitely some i wonder if you're dealing with someone now but it's like has it moved to a commitment yet but just know that there is someone that's coming your way that's why all these feelings are here so i just see where you you spend time like taking your time you're not in the mindset where you want to rush into anything you'd rather go like slow and steady throughout the month of october and you're kind of sizing this person up. Whoever is dealing with an Aquarius, just know that you are being like watched, 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 watched. They're really paying attention to detail. They're really even um, thinking about what wasn't said, unspoken energy, body language. Aquarius is very, very detail oriented and observant in October. That's what I can see. But like I said, they're not bitter. They're not jaded. It's just like this energy. Okay, I want to watch. I want to see what you have to offer. I don't see you guys choosing to take a plunge right away, but then there's a shift that comes in. There's a shift that comes in and someone is going to really be able to put your mind at ease. And then you know what's going to happen? You're going to fall in love with someone. You are going to. And I feel like that's really, really exciting. So whoever is dealing with an Aquarius, I would say like the message of advice to you from spirit is to just give this person the time that they need. Be someone, just be your authentic self. Don't, don't try to exaggerate anything when it comes to Aquarius or be someone that you're not because they they are like a BS detector and they're watching and yes they are like overthinking to a certain extent um but you're not going to be able to to pull anything you know not saying that you're shady in any way but just be yourself when it comes to an Aquarius they'll appreciate that so much more there's a lot of potential here and so it's like baby steps throughout the month and then all of a sudden it's like boom there's this turnaround 
and I see you guys in this mindset of like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to trust this. I feel like I don't need to like get in my own way anymore. I feel like I don't want to keep wondering what else, what if, what if, what if. And then you see how this is a 10 of swords? It's significant because the 10 is like a cycle that comes to an end. And once one cycle ends, a new cycle begins in love. So there's a lot of like shedding. Do you see where all of these swords are coming in reverse? I mean, that just represents a release and a relief, a relief in tension, a relief in worry, even the energy of forgiveness, the energy of shedding, letting go, moving forward, a fresh start. You guys are going to get to this place where you are not afraid anymore. I feel like at first you are going to be afraid. You're going to want to protect yourself um, as you maybe even work on yourself a little bit I feel like there's just something that feels like you wake up and you feel different that's how it's going to feel to you you wake up and you have a change of heart a change in your mind you wake up one day I'm telling you it's, it's very like it's like that that's what spirit is showing me and and what I mean by that to you guys that's how it'll feel but when you look at things from a higher perspective it's about divine timing and it's really about like a, a cycle that ends a cycle ends but to you guys it'll feel like you just have a all of a sudden you just feel different you have a change of heart a change of of mind and then that is that cycle ending it's it's unlocked and then that's where your heart really really opens up i see you doing things that you even a few weeks ago before you met this person or a few months ago you said to yourself i would never do that there's this person is coming into your life to open you up to open up your mind, to open up your heart, to open you up to new experiences. If you guys have been like um doing the same old, same old routine in a rut, in a rat race even, this person comes in to shake things up around you in the best possible way because it's like it breaks you out of your routine. It breaks you out of your habits. This person um, will get you to try new things, do new things. And I feel like you guys are going to fall in love. That's what I see but it's it's a progression and I want you to understand like the the higher energies the deeper energies to it and that is like a cycle is ending for you so don't force yourself into anything if you feel like you know what I want to watch I want to be observant there's valuable lessons for you there because when you when you embrace that energy you're going to learn a lot about yourself and that's what like brings things together it's a healing energy things that are missing you're you're going to find them again somehow so it's a very pivotal month I mean, you have a big love that's coming in. The Ace of Cups is not something that you just sweep under the rug. That's not any old kind of person, any old kind of connection, any old kind of romance. That is something that's like big. It's pivotal. It's a real shift a real shift. Like one door closes to the past and it's like new embracing embracing it i see you guys falling in love i see you doing a lot of healing in the month of october and don't be surprised when like i said the best way to describe the energy to you about how it'll feel for you is like you just you just feel different one day you have a realization and you don't feel the way that you used to now for those of you that for others of you the way that i'll explain the energy is Things from the past that you needed to heal from, even like I will say this, even if you don't meet someone per se, although I feel like it's someone that unlocks this within you, that's what this energy is. But even for those of you that by chance, you do not happen to meet someone this month or, you know, that energy this shift is also coming in for you. That's what you need to know. And it will unlock the potential to bring this in. I hope that that makes sense. Because for all of you, the energy is like coming to terms with things, healing things. And this could even be like you paying close attention, closer attention to yourself and your own, your own feelings. But like I said, I, I, 
I feel like this is someone that comes in and just makes you see things differently. So you're meeting a, a major catalyst for your growth. It's a, it's it's funny because what Spirit is showing me is like this person comes in and they have the key. They have the key to your heart and they unlock it. And then from there, I just see you guys really letting yourselves be open. There's going to be so much relief. Um, someone is coming in to make things a lot less complicated for you, to take some of the pressure off of you, to take even some of the responsibilities. That's what spirit is showing me. This is going to sound kind of random, but you guys may start finding like objects from spirit to let you know that this person is coming your way. Definitely look for feathers, particularly look for gray feathers, because that's just a sign to you from spirit um, about how a difficult period is coming to an end and you have relief that's coming in for you. So you have a lot to look forward to. I mean, you have a lot of excitement. Like I said, this is something that I want you to guys, I want you guys to really understand the emphasis and and just what you're going to be feeling soon. It's going to be like a day and night kind of energy for you. Your heart's going to be open, a lot of emotion, and I do I see you guys falling in love with someone. Okay. That is what I see coming in for you guys for October, Aquarius. I send you much love and light. Let's get into Pisces reading. All right, Pisces, let's see what is coming in for your love life in October. How are things going to be for you? Let's see the energy coming your way. Let's see who is coming your way. Scorpio's energy here are you dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini because those energies are coming through so maybe you guys are talking to someone now or um, could be who's coming your way cross watchers moon or rising potential 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 Sagittarius and then Virgo energy is also here so a lot of different energies are coming through could be who's coming towards you um, or cross watchers, moon or rising, Virgo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio. I see, I see someone who's watching you. They could even be watching you now, interested in you. There's a deep, deep connection that's here. And I'm, I'm kind of just looking up because um, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, the two of you are catalysts for each other. That's why the overall energy is the lovers in reverse. So just know that who's coming your way, you have um, deep soul ties to them. It's not someone who's coming in your life to try and hurt you in any way. Okay. But I see a lot of insecurity in this person and it makes me wonder where do they carry all of that from? And then when I look even deeper, I do feel like it has to do with like what happened between the two of you in the past. Past as in past life energy. All right, that's what I can see. This person on the inside, I feel like they're shy in a lot of ways. To the outside world, though, I mean, you only see all all that they have to offer. I mean, coming through as the king of pentacles, this person has a lot to offer. And I think that you'll see that in them as well. Someone who's very successful, however success looks like in, in your world, this person looks, when I look at them through your eyes, they look successful. Certainly someone that's very good looking, someone that knows how to dress, someone that has like, um personality they definitely have swagger to them although i just feel like they take themselves too seriously that's where like that energy of insecurity comes in and it's actually kind of cute to me that someone who comes across as like so secure and so successful is actually they don't look at themselves like that and they don't they don't see themselves in that way so it's actually kind of 
flattering in a sense when you have someone that really has all of that to offer yet they are shy i feel like they're shy that's why i'm telling you that this person is either watching you now or it or you guys are going to connect somehow and the and they'll see you and they'll watch you from afar definitely you could say that this person is like a secret admirer because it's someone who takes themselves so seriously and i know that they need to they're working on their confidence because it's not someone who is okay with taking a shot and getting shot down it's just like that's not how they are and then when you see the two of pentacles come in reverse that's like um I feel like throughout the month, it takes them courage to, it, to it, they have to work up the courage to be able to come to you because what Spirit is showing me is like two steps forward, two steps back. Um, if they're watching you on social media, it's like they start to write you a message and then they delete, 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 delete. I'm going to write it again. Delete, delete, delete. Or if you guys, um, somehow they can get in contact with you, like they go to text you something, they read it, then no, that's stupid. Let me delete it. That's what their energy is like. Um, and that's why I say insecurities. Now, when I tell you that this person is insecure, that's not to put them down or belittle them in any way. And just because someone has insecurities, that doesn't mean that they're like bitter and jaded and like their ego. It's, it's not about that. I just feel like this person doesn't see everything that they have to offer the way the outside world sees it. That's why the lovers are in reverse. So I feel like you meet this person or you're going to realize who this is, Pisces, but the two of you don't exactly come together just yet in October. It's more like the energy of building and getting to that point. It will get to that point. This person just has to um, just build up their courage, build up their courage more. And that's the thing about it that's very surprising because you'll look at this person and wonder what at all would they ever feel insecure about? Why would they ever feel shy? But they do. That's the thing. And, you know, that's why we watch tarot to see what's hidden because that can show you into what prevents this person from really coming forward. That's what the blockage is. But you're running through their mind all day. I mean, they're like always picturing you if they have a way to look at you or like read something that you've written they do that's what spirit is showing me whether it's your social media or however the, the two of you are connected i can see where this person's always like finding a way to look at you look at your picture i wonder if they're around you now because this really is the energy of someone that's like admiring you watching you from afar I'm telling you that there's there's a big change that's gonna come in. I feel like it's a connection that's obviously meant to be because of all like the deep history, the past life history here between the two of you. And then when you see the Knight of Wands come in um, reverse, it's about like settling, not running anymore, settling, that kind of thing. And then the Death card is here. So that's spirit letting me know that there's gonna be like a big, big shift and a big change it's within this person's energy and then they bring that to you and it's in your love life overall so you have someone that you have deep deep ties to that's either around you now or coming your way of course that, i mean that just means that there's long-term potential the lovers that's what you want to see coming towards you someone who will come into your life once they get themselves balanced that's the thing i don't want you to ever Feel like you're doing something wrong preventing this person's energy from coming to you it's them it's things that they have to work on within themselves to be a balanced partner do you see what i mean that's why it's in reverse because it's like they're transitioning and that's even why virgo's energy is coming through like that okay so it's a, it's good to watch because you can keep these things in the back of your mind, especially if you have a tendency to wonder like, well, what am I doing wrong? What's wrong with me? You know, we're all kind of like programmed to look at things like that and, and put it back on ourselves. But really, it has nothing to do with you. I even feel to get really deep. There's something reversed now between the two of you in this lifetime. I feel like the role that they're playing now, you might have played that role last time the two of you were together. And that's why it swapped like this. 
okay that's important but I, I feel like honestly the person that's coming towards you is a, is a success good looking a lot to offer and like looking at them from an outside perspective it's crazy that they'd ever be insecure or shy but they they are but don't worry there is a shift that comes in that'll bring the two of you together I wonder I wonder if you already know who this is because the energy that I pick up on is it's very exciting I feel like it's I feel like it's excited I feel like you will I feel like you will be excited just keep these things in mind like if you have someone that you find very attractive and they're just awkward around you or they come across they come across in a way like hopefully they won't do something that's so awkward that they come across as rude but as simple as this may sound that's the person and that's really what's going on with them on the inside I feel like they could I feel like there's an awkwardness to them but someone looking at them would never guess that they're like that and when I say awkward it's not a bad thing it's just like they I don't think they know their own worth quite yet I don't I don't think they do I don't think they see what others see in them it's a very good looking person but for whatever reason when they look in the mirror they they don't tend to focus on what's good about them they, they they're they're too hard on themselves that's what i can see okay so um it's gonna take this person a little bit of courage to be able to come forward but i mean when they do you have something here that could be amazing. You have something here that could lead to um, the two of you really complimenting one another's lives. Long-term relationship because it's destiny. It's destiny between the two of you. That shift is going to come in. That's what I want you to know, Pisces. So it's very deep, this reading, because there's challenges no matter how you look at it. The challenge is for this person to be more confident and courageous and then maybe even challenges for you to work on your confidence a little bit as well especially if you take things to heart when this person is like awkward or doesn't step up the way that you want them to for you to look deep within and, and maybe have a little more confidence within yourself instead of blaming yourself but look at things from a higher perspective maybe even a perspective that you didn't consider before that's what spirit is showing me okay so there's it's kind of challenging because of what you'll feel and what you might go through emotionally trying to understand the other one but then like the reward is so great the reward is beautiful. I mean, you're getting a super, super successful, good looking person that you've been together with lifetime after lifetime that you two will love each other. All of this unfolds in October. And like I said, it it's like the unfolding process. Like I said, in October, you don't um like cement it together, but it, it goes down that path and that's where it's, that's the potential. That's what you need to know. Okay, Pisces, that is what I see coming through for you guys in your love life in October. I send you much love and light. Let's get into Aries. Aries, let's take a look at your love life. What is it going to be like in October? Who's coming your way? What are your messages from spirit? Let's see. Wow, so the initials B and J are here. Capricorn's energy is here. Are you guys thinking of a Capricorn right now? There could be cross watchers or you could have a Capricorn coming your way. It could be moon or rising. So this is, these messages from spirit are like very strong. It looks like you guys are very defensive like very very guarded and i don't say that to put you down or to imply that you guys are like bitter or jaded that's not what the energy is it's very selective the queen of swords and then when you see the high priestess come through together it lets me know that you guys are secure 
you're secure but then there's like these blockages around you that I, I just feel like you're very selective kind of even judgmental but like I said that's not to sound like the messages from spirit are judging you that's what your energy is like see the queen of swords is someone who is not gonna settle and they're not gonna accept anything less than what they feel they deserve it's someone whose boundaries they have boundaries clear cut boundaries and it's either you rise to the occasion or you don't get any of my time or energy. The high priestess as your overall energy. And then when you see the devil come in reverse, it's almost like you guys are making a promise or a pact to yourself about some of the things that you'll never let yourself go through again. This is you being in this um, kind of, it's like kind of a cocoon because the high priestess is, is is someone that i feel has a lot of confidence because they're ascended you're definitely connected with your higher self throughout the month of october aries and you're just seeing things in a different light and i feel like that's why you want to break free from anything that you feel is toxic anything that you feel is hurtful or negative you're not going to allow that into your life in no way shape or form the high priestess you know there's things that you're being very very reserved about that's why there's a veil that's behind her in the energy but then when you see the duality there the the balance the black and the white yin yin yang feminine and masculine that lets me know a lot into your vibe your mindset your mentality see you're not you're not all over the place you're not someone who doesn't know what they want you know what you want and you you have your convictions and you're holding on to them very very strongly and it's just this energy of not willing to settle now to look at it from someone's perspective though see that's that's good you guys have to have your boundaries you have to know what you want and what you will and will not accept things like that but to be honest with you this energy is very it's hard to approach and i don't say that for you guys to lower your standards or you know anything like that but if you want to know how you're coming across to others it is like i don't know what to say i don't really know how to approach you and it's almost feeling like am i gonna get like shot down before i even try see that's the thing is like there are blockages around you so if you guys are open to finding love i think it's important to just consider what spirit is showing us how you're putting up really really like walls around you that's how it comes across I think that you have your mindset so much on what you don't want that you're not really giving people a chance. So it's all a matter of what you want and it's all a matter of what you choose to take from this reading because I'm telling you how what your energy is like, how you're coming across, you from the eyes of someone else, what your energy is like. But then, you know, that's where you can decide, well, I do have my standards, but I don't want to be unapproachable because that's kind of how you're coming across. Like, I don't know how to approach you. When you see these pages come through like that, it lets me know a few different things. Number one, how you're looking down at people. And I'm not saying that to imply that you're like a bad person or, you know, anything like that. It's just like having this mindset of not believing, maybe feeling like everyone is the same, definitely judging a book by its cover. That's what I feel like you guys might do. And then it also lets me know how someone feels trying to approach you, feeling like they're in the energy of a page. They're not going to keep persisting and trying because it's funny because someone who could even be approaching you and their energy is like a king or a queen there's some kind of vibe that you're putting off aries that makes them feel like small and it's not to imply that this person lacks confidence but i just feel like you guys need to really be aware of the kind of vibes that you're putting off 
you know and please know that i love you i'm not i'm not judging you guys you know these are not judgmental messages from spirit but you know i'm not gonna lie to you about what the energy is so the vibe that you put out is um it's hard to approach it's hard to approach so maybe just um how to break yourself out of it is just take a look at yourself and, and realize how you're coming across and maybe even pay attention more to your own thoughts are you judging a book by its cover are you automatically telling yourself that someone is like not right for you before even giving them a chance that's what i see going on so that's just something really really important to think about because i know you may want to put up boundaries and walls to make someone rise to the occasion but i feel like it's having the opposite effect it's, it's not making people rise to the occasion it's making them retreat and that's that's a hard pill to swallow i know that and and i'm not taking sides when i say that it's not because they lack confidence. I feel like it's important for you to understand just how protective these energies are that you're putting out there. And I know that you just want something healthy. I know that you've waited a long time for a healthy relationship and you're in this mindset of like, you know what, I'll continue to wait. I'm not going to settle. Don't settle, but then to also don't be afraid of actually getting to know people and giving them chances. And I say all that because, you know, the pages represents like there's a lot of energy that comes through in these cards. And then when you see the two of wands in reverse, it's like a, a blockage because it's represents a path that's open reverse. It's like a path that's closed blockages. So to be really honest with you guys, you may be creating your own blockages, getting in your own way. It's it's a, it's balance that you'll have to find Aries between like your standards, like your dignity, of course, your boundaries, and then actually like being open. So this makes me wonder, are you guys really ready for a relationship? Are you, or do you still have healing that you need to do? There's nothing wrong with taking time out to heal. Cause that's, that's what I wonder to have such strong convictions, the way that it comes across and the way that you feel inside that I can see, it makes me really wonder like, are, are you ready? Are you, are you ready? And when I say that, it's not to imply that you don't know who you are or like you're off somehow no because i see where you guys you know you know what you want you know who you are you know what you deserve you know your worth but are you able to break free from what's happened to you that's still like tainting your outlook on things and if, if you need a little more time, then don't be afraid to give yourselves a little more time. There could be a lot of things that you actually realize throughout the month of October. All right. I mean, drawing someone to you, like attracting someone initially, that's not, that's not a problem because I can see where there's even a couple different people that will come through trying to pursue you they will but then it's like this energy of them feeling like they're turned down or maybe even just getting shot down all together before they really have a chance to prove themselves to you that's what i can see aries so just know that there's definitely potential partners that are coming in it's just um will you let yourself be open will you give these people a chance are you even ready for that there's nothing wrong with not being ready and giving yourself more time that's what I can see. And please don't ever feel like these messages are to like put you down in any way, shape or form. They're not. But you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys about what comes through. Because otherwise, what's the point? What's the point of it? Okay, that's what I can see going on, Aries. So just a lot to think about. Just know that. Okay, I love you guys. That's what I see coming through for October. I send you much love and light. All right, Aries. Let's get into Taurus's reading. Let's take a look, Taurus, at your love life. Who is coming your way? What are your messages from spirit? How's your love life looking?
very interesting energies are coming through. I feel like there's like a saga that's here. So there's like a lot of like a lot of waves coming through in your love life. I think that you got, I wonder, are you going to be the ones that are hot and cold like this? That That's what this energy shows me. You guys could be in a place where it's like, yes, no, yes, no, maybe, I don't know. That's what the energy is like when I talk about like the highs and the lows and, and the waves. Because this is like feeling, feeling, ah, uh, okay. Aries energy is here. Two of cups is coming through. I think that you have a, a significant connection. Maybe some of you are dealing with it now and it hasn't fully like um, taken the title of relationship. And maybe that's why you're watching for singles. But for others of you, it's this energy of um, someone that challenges you. And you've been with this person lifetime after lifetime. A catalyst for your growth that's for sure kindred spirits coming in so i just see where there could be a cycle that you enter into with someone it looks like there's potential for you guys to be together and apart together and apart i know that may not be what you want to hear taurus but you know i'm not going to lie to you about the energies that are coming through and it's even uh, it's useful because it's like a heads up into the dynamic and maybe even the way if you do things differently it can shift the energy the ace of wands lets me know that you're going to be so like i feel like it's a spellbound kind of energy ace of wands is chemistry it is passion it is physical and sexual attraction it's like being stopped in your tracks struck and I feel like that's something that's mutual. You have someone coming in that is going to make you feel things that you have. And I, I see like a whirlwind connection that comes to you because with the five of pentacles in reverse, feeling like it's home feeling like it is like when you meet this person and you start to actually like go on dates and spend time with them it's going to feel like you're the only two people in the room only two people in, in that exist it's being so caught up in each other and so much in the in the moment connecting with someone in a way that you haven't before there's so much chemistry and passion that's here but I hate that I see this cycle of pushing each other away together and apart, together and apart. That's what it looks like to me. So some of you are about to enter into that twin flame journey or others of you are going to reconnect with whoever you feel this twin flame kindred spirit is. That's what I can see coming in. So there's definitely highs and lows. And I mean, they are the highest of the highs. It's physical and sexual. It's like a mind, body, and soul attraction. I'm telling you, like when the two of you like kiss or when you like even hold hands and connect, you become one. And that's why the five of pentacles is there because when you're in the moment with that person, it really truly does feel like you are home and like what was missing, you feel fulfilled, like you found it. I won't lie to you though, it looks like there's um like pushing away the two of you mirroring each other. That's why that's why I'm saying the two of you because I know what kind of mirroring goes on here and that's one of the difficulties in the connection is like not realizing it. Not realizing it. That's what creates blockages when you don't realize how much you feel and are doing the same things to each other. I know it's not the easiest pill to swallow, but that's what the energy is like. And then when you see the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands come through, it's um, feeling like someone, it's a runner. It's a runner and feeling like like you're, you're pushing me, I'm pushing you, we're pushing each other away. You both run from each other, you come back to each other. That's what this energy is like. So definitely... Uh, a lot of highs and lows. I don't know how else to describe this to you. Highs and lows in the energy. Um, definitely not a peaceful and restful month in October. I just feel like you guys, if you know what I'm talking about, just prepare yourselves for a, like a whirlwind of emotions. 
um, there's karmic lessons that are here, of course. And when I say karma, I don't want you guys to think it's like you go through things because you're being punished. That's not what karma is. Karma is like you swap roles. They play one role in a lifetime, you play the other role, next life it's swapped because that's how you learn. We're all here to learn lessons, we see things from another perspective, experience it from another perspective. That's what that energy is and that's what I see going on for the two of you. So I wish I could I wish I could say that it's going to be like you'll have super peace of mind, things flow smoothly, but that's not what it looks like in October. It's like highs and lows. Major major highs as far as like when the two of you connect and and it feels so right. That's the thing. It feels so right to you. But then when you you may be the one that remains in this very independent energy of being able to like compartmentalize things and like distance yourself from this person. And it's like you have this amazing time together and then you're so easily able to like compartmentalize and go back to your life as normal. And then I know that that leaves someone feeling like, well, you're just, you're running from me. You're pushing me away. I feel like one of the blockages here is the way that someone has to let themselves look at this like and consider what they're gaining rather than losing. You're not losing your independence or your power. You're gaining a partner. You're gaining a comrade. You're gaining a, a, a person who will really be there for you and support you. And I feel like that's one of the biggest blockages and and something that someone is having such a hard time letting go of because they have this notion in their mind that when they let themselves become part of the union they're gonna they're gonna lose a part of themselves or like their independence but that's not true so it's important for someone to keep that in mind that that's one of the blockages especially if they have this tendency to look at themselves and feel like well what am i doing wrong you're not doing anything wrong. It's the way that this person needs to look at being in a partnership in a, in a different way. Makes me wonder what they've gone through. Makes me wonder what the two of you went through in a past life together for them to look at like being in a connection as they lose a part of themselves, which is very ironic because you actually gain what's missing. But that's what's going on, Taurus. So there's a lot of highs and lows in your love life i see where some of you are going to enter into that twin flame journey or you're going to reunite with this twin flame i see aries energy coming through i wonder if any of you are on the cusp of aries that could be the case so just just know that that's what i can see um you know i'm not here to judge i'm not here to take sides but that really is what the energy is okay you guys that's what i see going on for you in October Taurus I send you much love and light okay you guys let's get into Gemini's reading Gemini let's take a look at your love life in October let's see what it's going to be like for you the energy coming your way maybe even who's coming your way let's see your messages from spirit Aquarius's energy is here. Okay. Aquarius's energy is here. I wonder if you guys are dealing with an Aquarius or moon or rising signs. There could be cross watchers. Okay, so I will tell you this. I'll start with like the beginning because I feel like you guys are gonna um have something that just like falls into your lap and in a beautiful way. I see like you feeling like a wish is coming true in your love life could even be someone that you would just look at them and you feel like my god that person is good looking like my person is beautiful the star card coming through with the queen of pentacles i mean that's someone who's beautiful from the inside out because it's not just their outer beauty it's their inner beauty the queen of pentacles is a true inner beauty someone that's very generous just loving and what they do is purely 
really from the heart. So of course, someone may uh, look at you and feel this way about you, feel this way about you, Gemini. And I mean, why wouldn't you feel the same way about each other? That That's what I see. So vice versa, whoever's coming your way, though, I feel like you're going to look at them and feel like they're super, super good looking. There's a lot of emphasis on this person's looks, their outer beauty. Um, they're they have they're beautiful from the inside out. I don't know how else to describe it to you because it's someone who's very kind, even like an animal lover someone who just cares about the world and the well-being of everyone around them just wants everyone around them to to feel good and happy and and accepted and welcomed seeing the ten of wands come through okay this is pivotal because this is a cycle okay ten of wands coming through lets me know that there's something that comes to an end but it needs to come to an end. The Ten of Wands is letting go of emotional baggage. Who I, I wonder who holds that emotional baggage. I wonder that. Because I see the way that this person is even holding on to things that have happened years ago. Holding on to it like maybe even a safety blanket. Maybe they don't know how to let it go. And I think to a certain extent, they hold on to it as a form of protection. Like, you know, keep your enemies close. That kind of mindset. Like, I'm going to remember this so I won't go through it again. But then all it does is weigh them down. It prevents them from, you know, being in that energy. It's, it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy spiritually and emotionally it could even cause like physical problems like being tired being stressed the beautiful thing is the ten of wands i wonder if you're going to give someone an ultimatum i wonder that because the ten of wands with the tower next to it is like okay you you have to let go of this and move forward maybe there, there's certain things that you want them to let go of and like choose you even though I hate to say this, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. It seems like you get into a very beautiful connection and then there's like a rumbling. There's a rumbling and, and I feel like the connection could come to an end. But don't worry because you'll get back together. You get back together and then the two of you transcend to the next level. So it's like a whole like unfolding that's what spirit is showing me the way that something the way that something unfolds now for some of you it is like the two of you having some kind of misunderstanding or falling out where you really could break up i'm not gonna lie but what i want you to know is you will come back together because you're meant to come back together see this is a very strong energy because it's like clearing away things that need to be cleared away holding on to all these things and I don't say this to dismiss why they hold on to it or like to belittle it in any way, but they don't need to hold on to it anymore. It's a 10. What's done is done. Holding on to it isn't going to change the future. It's not going to change anything from the past. It's not going to prevent anything. So sometimes the universe will step in to kind of like help someone along. That's what I can see. So even if the connection, which is a beautiful connection, even if it results temporarily and the two of you breaking up, having some kind of like argument, falling out, just know this, you will get back together because it's a relationship that starts, that's meant to start and it feels like it's a dream come true. But then this is not, this is something that's, meant for lessons so when the relationship starts a lot of things come to the surface a lot of things are unblocked but you know what's beautiful about that it's like a purging and it's a clearing away which needs to be cleared away so that's what i can see going on you guys definitely something very very significant and pivotal in your love life I think it's um, being kind of starstruck by each other in different ways. Certainly feeling so drawn and attracted to one another. And it's like not just the outer beauty, it's the inner beauty and, and this person's heart and vice versa. I think that you guys will have long, deep, meaningful conversations and just be prepared because it is gonna be something that makes you feel things you didn't feel and, and vice versa. It brings things to a head that need to come to a head because it needs to purge. 
So there's like highs 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 and lows but what i want you to know is like there's a happy ending to all of this none of this is happening in vain so if there is things that really shake up this connection that's coming in for you it's a blessing in disguise i know that you may not see that in the moment may not feel that in the moment but i just maybe you can keep this in the back of your mind the messages from spirit about uh, what needs to be purged and cleansed so the two of you can because when I talk about moving forward and ascending the world card is like okay we've completed a cycle a major major cycle and you know what we can do now is we can be free we can move to the next chapter in our lives the next phase the, the next phase even spiritually the world card is really um ascension like rising above connecting to your higher selves it's a very significant reading for you gemini so just know that even though i'm telling you guys about the highs and lows just know that it's a very positive reading because there's blessings in disguise that are here this is not something that's coming into your life and then the universe plays a cruel trick on you and snatches it away from you there there's lows that you will experience but it is for the good of the connection it's for the good of you this person and ultimately the long-term connection which is here you'll get back together because in that time of being apart even if it's just for a day or two it doesn't mean that it has to be all you know drag on and on being apart it could be just a day or two but major things are realized in that time and major energy which was like toxic gets cleared away okay so just know that i, I mean i just see something that's like it's um it's funny because i'm trying to describe to you like what spirit is showing me it's like the, the dynamic it's like dynamite it's like um tremendous highs with the star energy and then like the tower feeling like something's taken away that's why i want you to know that it's whatever is taken away it's only temporary and it's for the good of the connection okay gemini i say that to maybe give you a little peace of mind and especially for some of you that maybe you've um experienced this now maybe you're in this place now the this short period of temporary separating your person's going to come back to you you're going to come back to each other and you're just going to rise above everything and you're going to like be in the same place spiritually emotionally so you have a lot to look forward to ultimately. This There's a lot that I feel is going to go on for you in October. Okay, Gemini, I love you guys. That is what I can see coming through. I send you much love and light. Let's get into Cancer's reading. All right, all of my single Cancers. Let's see what your love life is going to be like in October. Who's coming your way? What energy is coming your way? Let's see what spirit shows us. Gemini energy is here. Are you guys on the cusp? It could be moon or rising signs. Also Capricorn energy is coming through. So maybe someone's coming your way, Gemini or Capricorn, moon or rising, cross watchers. Very interesting, this dynamic, because these are the lovers here in a very different energy, and those are the lovers there in a very, very different energy. Okay, so you guys are single, right? But I almost feel like there's a mended connection for some of you. For some of you, there is. Um, but for others of you, it could be certain like um, wounds that get healed within, within you. A mindset that changes. Seeing the Empress come through with the lovers, I know that you have something wonderful that's coming in for you. But there's like this energy of... A processing things going through certain things even even having to feel certain things before this energy comes in i think that there's some emotional experiences very 
you might get triggered with certain things certain things from the past that's what spirit is showing me here seeing the six of cups come through in reverse with the devil in reverse okay so there's a warning here because it looks like there's some kind of karmic lesson that's coming in for some of you if you embrace it now the thing about that energy is you don't have to embrace it because what i will tell you is this is someone that's a catalyst for you your growth you've been with this person having different experiences with them lifetime after lifetime and when i talk about karma i don't mean like the the internet version of karma which is like a punishment to someone that's not what karma is we're all spiritual beings here on a journey with a certain theme that we want to perfect and so we'll choose certain people to come in and out of our lives to serve as catalysts to help us to help us learn and we go through different lessons that's what this is that's what karma is so it's a role reversal because what happened between you and this person in one lifetime it's swapped now so that that's what the lessons are they play one role you play another role next lifetime it's swapped because that's how you learn from the other perspective that's what karma is karma is not a punishment and and the fact that we go through karmic lessons it lets us know how spiritually advanced we are this is a lesson that you can choose to avoid you can choose to avoid this lesson cancer and it's like skip right over it if you look deep within and start to recognize what you deserve and your own worth and maybe put the energy that you would give to someone else in a connection back into yourself because you can it's it's like okay there's a path that's opening up you can choose the easy way or you can choose the hard way because ultimately what this person brings to you is just that you having to go through something kind of difficult but in the end you come out of it knowing who you are and what you're worth that's why i'm telling you it's a lesson you can choose or not choose because i know that there's things that you guys have already gone through that you've that ultimately you've learned if you'll just let yourself see it you've already gone through ups and downs you already already gone through things that are toxic and heavy you don't need to repeat the same patterns it's things that you've already learn and what spirit is really really nudging you to see and understand is what you have learned you will have someone that comes back around or someone that enters into your life and they're gonna trigger you certain things from the past that you'll feel you'll see history repeating itself whether it's something that you've gone through directly with this person and you know who this person is or it'll be like seeing something unfold all over again that you've already gone through and that's where those of you that are ready will say no i'm not going to go through that again i i don't choose to go down that path i choose to focus on myself it's it's a very deep reading that's coming through i feel like it, it's also kind of like personal for someone if you want the advice from spirit I would because I feel like you are advanced enough to see this if you want the advice from spirit concentrate on yourself in October concentrate on yourself and and who you are what you're worth the energy time effort that you'd put into this because this is nothing but being drained it's gonna suck so much of your vitality and energy from you why put it into that put it back into yourself work on yourself build yourself up because you know what that will do is unlock this divine connection i hope that that makes sense if i were a cancer i would choose october to really focus on myself to really focus on myself and if, if those of you know some of you here are saying like you know maybe you want to embrace someone's energy that comes your way you may feel very drawn to someone keep your eyes open but moreover keep your your intuition open 
and let yourself make the connection between what you have in the present with someone and what you've gone through before because this is something that is like a lesson all over again these are very very heavy energies here they're very heavy energies and and i'm telling you that you have the freedom to not choose this and not choosing it means that you just you just choose to be alone and you choose to work on yourself there's nothing wrong with giving yourself a little bit of time do you know what i mean it could be something that you need because what i will tell you about this is you'll see that anyway after you go through the experience experiences throughout the month with this person but you don't have to i'm telling you a lot of tips from spirit to eliminate unnecessary suffering it's unnecessary because you're already advanced and you've already gone through this you don't need to go through it again that's what this energy represents so some of you will choose to take that advice from spirit and maybe like refrain from dating this month to just focus on yourself and and like what you like what you like to do reconnecting with yourself but for others of you that that are not quite there and you choose to you know um embrace someone's energy i just think you need to be aware of when to get out of it because this is not someone that's coming in. Um, it's someone who's coming in to, to help you grow. It's like challenges. It's like growing pains. And ultimately, it is to get you to see your own worth. Like I said, you can choose the easy route or you can choose the hard route. And if I were you, I would, I would honestly say to just focus on myself in the month of October. I know that may not be what some of you guys want to hear, but I'm not going to lie to you about the energies. It's actually a very deep reading. It even feels like it's a very personal reading for someone. If they've been wondering, should I take a break from dating? Yes, you absolutely should because this next person that's coming in, there's a lot of warnings to you about what you might go through. And then it's the fact that you don't have to go through it again because you've already gone through it. It's going to be like deja vu. And, you know, some of you, you know, I'm not judging. You'll do what you feel is best for you. But some of you will get to the point where you see even like a, a similar experience with a new person that's playing out all over again right in front of you. And then I think some of you will even um, connect with your higher self. Think back to this reading and say, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to bail out on this energy. That's why there's so much duality coming through like that between the devil and the lovers that are there. And that's why I'm telling you that advice from Spirit Cancer about how you don't even have to go down this path. But you'll do what you feel is best for you. And I know that you won't make a mistake. That's what you need to know. Because either way, there'll be lessons in it for you that you'll take away. So Cancer's reading actually feels very, very personal for someone very personal and and if you only choose to take bits and pieces from this reading which is perfectly fine cancer you know you, you should only take from it what you will just be aware of how whoever it is that you're dealing with this month makes you feel and what it awakens in you what it triggers from within you from the past because that'll make you see the connection for what you've already learned in your life and like those lessons are done. Don't keep putting yourself through the ringer where you don't have to. Don't keep embracing difficult lessons and difficult like challenges in your love life where you don't have to. Okay, I hope that that makes sense. The easiest route to take would just to be to let this energy clear and focus on yourself throughout the month of October. It's only a few it's only a few weeks. There's nothing wrong with reconnecting with yourself and being alone and taking a break from dating because in that in taking a break, you're going to see so much about yourself. You're going to reconnect with yourself in a way that you haven't in a long time. You're going to build your confidence again. You're going to start to know your worth. Connecting with yourself, connecting with your higher self and your angels and your guides. That's what I can see. Okay, you guys, um, I see Leo's energy coming through just as a side note. I wonder if you guys are dealing with a Leo or a Pisces. Could be moon or rising, cross watchers, or it could be this person's energy that's coming towards you. 
okay cancer wow that's deep i feel like that's a personal reading for someone even that's what i can see coming through for october i send you much love and light cancer let's get into leo's reading for all of my single leos let's take a look and see who is coming your way what is this person like like who's coming your way um how is your love life gonna look leo let's see your messages from spirit let's see interesting empress is the overall energy these are your messages coming through leo you need to know how you're being looked at i see where you might be in this energy of pushing people away but if you're wondering someone's intentions towards you i mean the way that you come across to someone you you're like i hate to say a prize because i feel like that sounds shallow and i don't mean for it to sound shallow at all but the empress is someone like you you don't let go of that person that's someone that's that's rare it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity per se and that's how you come across i think you need to know how respected you are in the eyes of of whoever this is that i'm looking through their eyes at you you are so respected i mean you're like way up there on a pedestal no one can touch you no one can compare to you you are utterly respected honored adored admired because you're looked at as someone that's like my missing piece, my partner, my person. It's very deep. I wonder if, if you know who this person is that's thinking of you like this or if this person has yet to come in. It's just important for you to know that's how they look at you. That's how they feel about you. Their intentions is nothing but to like hold you up on a pedestal, pedestal take care of you, respect you because they feel um kind of blown away by you to be honest the empress is a very powerful energy and then they're thinking about everything that could be with you they look at you as someone that could be their partner their lifelong partner why are you guys so defensive i wonder that i i do and and don't take offense to that leo because i'm a leo myself like most of my chart is leo which is crazy it just makes me wonder why you guys are so defensive like this I see, and I feel like that's why I had to start the reading with all of those reassuring messages for you to know someone's intentions towards you and how you come across. And maybe for some of you to let yourself be a little softer. I think you know your own worth, Leo, for sure. That's why the Queen of Swords is there. The Queen of Swords is a very powerful energy and it is slightly masculine because it's someone that will not settle for anything less than they feel they deserve. It can come across as hardened though. And I don't say that to put you guys down. It, it comes across that way though. The queen of swords is someone who has like their, their boundaries, they don't, they don't compromise it. And it's like, you know what, either you rise to the occasion or bye, you know, it, but it can be very, it can come across as cold. And it makes me wonder, what are you not seeing within this person? Cause I see someone coming your way that, that cares for you deeply and is like, I mean, I don't even know how to describe the level of respect that this person has for you. And that's important for you to know. So that makes me wonder, why are you not giving it a chance? I think it's just important for you to think a little bit more about how you're coming across, Leo. And then to open up your eyes a little bit more and see how this person is being with you. It, um, I don't see anyone that would dare disrespect you in any way, shape or form. That's whose energy I'm looking at. But the Queen of Swords, is it's powerful because 
it just makes me wonder why are you putting so such okay so you have you have your boundaries which is perfectly fine right because you feel like things should be done towards you in a certain way you're thinking about your work you're thinking about what you deserve but I mean, are these walls even scalable? Is that a word? Like, can this person even scale these walls? Are you trying to protect yourself? It's like the boundaries are so high, it's a form of protection because I can look deep into your energy and I see the way that you're really overthinking things. Seven of Cups coming through in reverse. You want to embrace a connection you want to embrace whatever this is i know that but then you stop yourself you gotta let yourself be softer you gotta let yourself believe again leo you do it's not it's not worth it life's too short life's too short for you to be comparing this person's energy to what someone else did or something else that you experienced this is not that person I think that's important to say because I see through the layers and that's what I see going on with you. Thinking about something to the past that triggers you, um, wondering if you can trust, can you open up? With this person, absolutely. With the way that they respect you, they would never do anything to disrespect you. You're really honored. They honor you, they adore you, they admire you. And then when I see all of these hardened energies coming from you, I feel like that's that's why some of you just need to let yourselves make that connection between uh, what you have in front of you and the kind of energy that you're putting around yourself, like creating these blockages for yourself. Page of Swords coming through in reverse. I think that's why Spirit is telling me to tell you guys to let yourself see see yourself. And the way that you're coming across and the way that you don't need to protect yourself so much, Leo. You don't need to. See, I know that you want this because you're thinking about it all the time, whoever this person is. I think that they fill you with a lot of excitement at first. And there's, you know, thinking about what could be with them. But then you get into this, you slip into this energy of, of, Okay, well that could be, but then what if this happens? And then what if that happens? And I remember when this happened for and that connection, and what if that happens again here? You know, that that's what's going on with you guys. So really try to break yourselves out of that energy throughout the month. You don't want to be in a low vibe. Enjoy this, Leo. Someone is 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 like lifting you up on a pedestal, like, yes, Leo, I love you. That's what their energy is like. And then you guys, if you're not careful, you'll miss out on a lot of, of like beauty and happiness around you. You'll miss out on it and you don't deserve to miss out on it. This is something that you've waited a long time to receive. Let yourself receive it. Let yourself be loved, Leo. Let yourself be treated special. If someone wants to be there for you, treat you like a king, treat you like a queen, um, do like special things for you, let them embrace it and enjoy it. Don't, don't waste your time overthinking. Okay, don't. And I feel like this reading will even help some of you see that and help break you out of that energy. What you need to know is what you have coming towards you is something that you've waited a long time for. And yes, you've gone through very difficult lessons in love, but like it's finally here. Don't spend all of this time focused on needing to prove yourself or protect yourself or put up boundaries. This person sees your worth. You don't have anything to prove to them. Your sheer presence proves whatever it is that you feel you need to prove. They see all of that in you. This is not someone that takes you for granted. I think it's just important for you to know that, Leo. I wonder if you know who this is. Or if they're coming your way, it's important for you to just maybe think about remove, removing these blockages from yourself and letting yourself be loved and cherished. The Empress is someone that's cherished. And then I just see, you know, I see through a lot of the layers in the reading about how this person looks at you, how you look at yourself and how you look at them. I see it all 360 like that, Leo. So I'm telling you like this, this perspective, that perspective, but let yourself be loved because this is someone who loves you. I mean, 
it's, it's kind of even difficult to describe the amount of respect that they have for you. And this is something that you've waited for. That's what you need to know. So don't waste your time trying to prove anything. This person will treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. That's what I see in their energy. So don't be afraid to self-reflect. Don't be afraid, like I said, to look in the mirror and really think about how you're coming across. Don't be afraid to open yourself up and give a chance because you have something very um, beautiful that's coming in for you. Let it revitalize you. Let it let it let you believe again. I can see where it's funny your energy, Leo, because you want to believe, you want to embrace it. It's like you're almost at the, the water's edge, and then like you're like, no, 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 I don't want to. Or like you you go to dip your toe in the water and then you pull it away, like, I don't know, what if that water freezes my toe? What if it's too cold? It's like two steps forward, two steps back with you. That's what I see going on. So if there's a cross watcher here dealing with a Leo, that's what their energy is like. Um, have patience with them because it's not that they're doing this to just give you a hard time. I feel like they've gone through ex a lot of experiences that kind of put them in this shell right now. And you know, back to you, Leo, just let yourself be open to it. It's not something that you'll regret at all. Try to stop overthinking throughout the month and just embrace what this is. I mean, you are loved. You want to, to be in this. This is how you want someone to look at you and feel for you. That's exactly, can't get any better than that. I mean, as far as like the balance in it, because it's, it's seeing your inner beauty and your outer beauty. It's a very significant time for you now, Leo, in your love life. So what comes your way, you'll, how you'll know it's safe is the way that this person treats you and the level of respect that they have for you. That's how you'll know who this is. Okay, Leo, that is what I can see coming in for October, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys. I send you much love and light, Leo. Let's get into Virgo's reading. Okay, last but not least, Virgo. My single Virgos. What's that spirit to show us? What is your love life looking like in October? Who's coming your way? What kind of energy is coming your way? Let's take a look and see. I see Cancer's energy here. Are you guys thinking of a Cancer? Maybe there's a Cancer coming towards you. You could be dealing with a cancer very soon if you're not already dealing with them somehow. This is very interesting. You're gonna get ready to go on this journey. There's, and I roll my eyes because I know the ups and downs of it. Twin flame journey, kindred spirit. Some of you are gonna reunite with who you consider your twin flame. Well, if you don't know what that is, it's just whoever you consider to be the one, you know, like the one. That's who's, that could, they could be coming back in because there's this energy of a reunion. Or um, it could be they're coming into your life for the very first time. So it's a very significant connection with the kindred spirit that's coming to you, Virgo. This is a person who is like you in so many, so many ways. Even it creates blockages and difficulties because the two of you will mirror each other, be so much alike, and then not realize that you're doing it. Quick to say the other one's doing it when you're actually both doing it. That's what I can see. So it's not a connection for the faint of heart. There's something very intense that's getting ready to come to you. There's a lot of um, harsh judgment, I feel. I feel like there's potential either for you to be very hard on someone or to feel like someone is being very hard on you. I think it's important that that when this connection comes in or it comes back around, that the two of you just enjoy it for what it is in the moments. There's so much here. Did I show you these cards? 
there's so much here of like someone wanting to know what's next what's next what's next i need i need to know now i need all the answers but you may not be meant to know what's next it could be something that's just meant for you to let yourself be in the in the moment a little bit more and to embrace things as they unfold i say that because what i see happening is the way that someone really judges the other one's moves so to speak or moreover their lack of forward movement i feel like one of you in this connection just really wants what you want right now and you can't wait because it feels right it feels right it feels like you want to embrace it it feels like it should all just unfold like within the month of october and just be at its full potential quickly and then i see where there's a lot of misinterpreting things between you and this person i wonder if you are going to be doing that virgo or if you feel like the person is being this way with you it's the dynamic it's it's what's here so you know you'll see which how the energy flows into your life you see the chariot in reverse and then the page of cups it's a very significant message because that lets me know the judgment here that's like, oh, you're not doing what I feel you should do at the pace I feel you should do it. Therefore, I feel like you're insincere. I feel like you're being immature. I feel like I can't take you seriously. There's too much harsh judgment that's here. There really is. This is a connection that's destiny, first of all. And then it makes me wonder, what are the lessons here? Is it for someone to be able to develop patience? Because someone's patience is really tried in this connection. Now, I know I'm describing challenges to you, Virgo. But that doesn't mean that it's not as significant as it is. Don't think that these are challenges that are all butterflies and rainbows kindred spirit twin souls they have they'll challenge each other because they're catalysts for one another's growth that's what it that's what it's about now each specific lesson of course is different for everyone one lesson that i can see someone having to learn here is patience because they really lack patience and that's something that just creates um, a lot of difficulties in in the connection and i don't say that to judge um, and I know that that can be very triggering for some of you here, especially if you've waited, been very patient, you feel with this person and waited for them a long time, but I'm not going to lie to you about what the energies are. And it just looks like someone is not doing what the other one wants them to do. And they're honestly, they're just being too judgmental. That's why the messages are coming through from spirit to just like enjoy what you have in the moment and go with the flow and don't worry so much about tomorrow or like next month and, and next year and what everything is supposed to be. It's like someone wants to skip over everything and just get like to the to the root of it, to the heart of it. But you can't just skip over everything because in those small in those like day to day experiences there's actually much deeper lessons and experiences. I hope that that makes sense. So what I will say for someone watching here is to just be very patient with your person. The two of you have something that is beautiful. You are deeply connected, but just because you are deeply connected doesn't mean that you won't hurt each other. It's not malicious hurt. It's more like trying trying difficulties someone wants what they want when they want it and they're not able to have it and then they become very judgmental so it that's just one of the basic things that i can see is it's important for maybe your person to have patience with you virgo or vice versa okay that's important but what i i wonder if you know who this is i know i'm describing a lot of energies but like i said you have something coming in that um is very pivotal it's destiny it's someone that you've been with lifetime after lifetime and it, it really is like your person you know that expression your person that's who i see around you so you have a lot to look forward to especially if you haven't met them yet and you don't know who this is who i see coming to you is like the one it's your person but you guys you do challenge each other for others of you it's just spirit letting you know that you're gonna reunite with them a lot of lessons are here Taurus energy is also coming through, Virgo. 
there could be a Taurus coming your way. Leo's energy is here. You could be on the cusp of leo the initials b and j are also coming through so cusp moon or rising signs or it could be who's coming towards you so you have a lot to look forward to and i feel like there's even a lot of like heads up so to speak from spirit about someone needing to have more patience and not be so hard on the other one so judgmental because you know what happens is they're so judgmental with the other one they don't do things in a timely manner or they don't take certain action that the other one wants them to take and then they turn all of that inward on themselves which is not fair well you're not doing it at this pace so that must mean that there's something wrong with me what's lacking within me what am i doing wrong it's it's crazy to me that we automatically automatically go to that place you know we're so programmed to think like well if something isn't happening at a certain pace it must be us what's wrong with us but that's not true this is the theme throughout the month of october for you virgo is to embrace patience you'll be so much better off embrace patience either way how this goes you know i'm not putting it all on you but it's general so i have to say it like this to let yourself get caught up in the moment. Let yourself make memories with this person. Just let yourself be present. When you're in the moment with them, embrace it, swim in it, enjoy it, love it. Don't think about tomorrow, just think about now. That's really your message from spirit. Okay, and, and for those of you wondering if you're gonna reunite with someone, you are, that's what I can see. But that's for those of you that want it. Um, for others of you, this reunion is it's like a reunion that's finally happening, but in this lifetime for the first time with this person. OK, I hope that that makes sense. But that's what's going on. I mean, you have something that most people like would would kill for the two of cups. I mean, that is your kindred spirit. That is your person. That's who's coming to you. But then you guys, I feel um. The more patience you have, the better off you will be. And then maybe even this can help some of you see those things in the moment. Because maybe you've never, especially if this is new and you don't know who this is, or you know, if, if you know who this is, like being caught up in the moment, if you start to get like antsy or you start to like become judgmental with this person, maybe you can even think back to the reading and, and see like, oh, you know what? I'm I am doing that. Let me not do that. Let me just be in the moment. Let me just enjoy what I have with this person here and now. The chariot in reverse is a very significant energy, and this is one of the reasons why I'm talking about patience so much, because it's not you may want to push someone or however this goes, you know, don't think I'm putting all of this on you, Virgo, because it could be what you experience. But whoever wants to push someone to do what they want them to do, the chariot in reverse, it, it ain't going to happen. It's like trying to push a car that's on four flat tires. That car's not going anywhere. That's what the energy is like. And so think about how frustrating that can be. I'm telling you this so you can avoid any frustration. Have patience with yourself, have patience with your person and just embrace something that's beautiful that's coming to you and just let yourself be in the moment. Okay, Virgo. Wow, that's deep. That's what I can see. That is what Spirit is showing me is coming through for you guys in October. Just so that I send you so much love and light, Virgo. It could be like what you feel like it could be how you feel someone is being with you or it could be the energy that you're putting out there so you know take from it what you will okay i love you guys that's what i see coming through for october i send you much love and light virgo and i'll see you guys in the next video all right you guys so that is what i can see coming through for all of my beautiful singles in october i love you guys thank you so so much for being here with me supporting me here on my youtube don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i send you all much love and light and i will see you guys in the next video